Salutation, saints. It's Pastor Austin. Glad that you could join me today for today's devotional. Just wanted to talk to you about Psalm chapter 16, verse 4, which spoke to me today in my devotions. It says this, The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. And uh, I think sometimes uh, other gods, um, when we read scriptures like this, we automatically think of something that's sinful. But I want to focus on things that maybe aren't inherently sinful, such as family or friends or your work or a hobby, um, but they can become miniature gods in our lives. And as we seek those things, and as the moment might be fun, and that experience might be fun, and that memory made with your family might be fun, it will only increase sorrows in our hearts. Why is that? It's because we were created for a different uh, kingdom. We are created for a different society. We were created with eternity on our hearts. And we know that there's nothing here on life that can substitute what we were created for. I think of Jesus's words in Matthew chapter six, where it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things, meaning all of these needs, what you wear, what you eat, where you'll sleep, all these different things will be taken care of. Do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about all of these things, but seek God's kingdom first. So how do we seek God's kingdom? I believe it starts with a thought. I believe it starts in the mind. And so every morning you need to wake up and say, God, help me set my mind on things above and not here on earth. Help me be kingdom minded. Help me be heavenly minded. Help me think of things that are pure and lovely and right and holy and acceptable and, and worthy of praise that I might bring glory to you because actions or actions stem from thoughts. And so as we think, we will do. And uh, I just want to encourage you that you can think a lot about your family and you can think a lot about your work and you can think a lot about your hobbies. And that is going to lead to actions in those areas of your life. But when we start to think a lot about God, God will lead us and he will bring about the actions that are necessary and the needs that we need to, to accomplish in our life, you know, it's good to be a good father. It's good to be a good mother. It's good to be a good spouse. But those things hang from first seeking the God's righteousness and his holiness. And he will make sure that we take care of those needs. And we don't need to spend as much time thinking about those needs as much as thinking about God. Because when our minds are on God, he'll direct us with what we need here on earth. So let me encourage you to not run after other gods in the way that you think and the way that you do, because it will lead to sorrowness and sorrow, um, sorrows in your life. But instead, think about Christ and things above, and it will lead to a life that is full because you're doing what you're created to do. So let me pray for you. Jesus, thank you so much for everyone watching this. I pray that in our thoughts, we'd bring glory and honor to you and that you would lead us into the acts of righteousness that you prepared for us in advance to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.